Hey traders, this is Tosh, T Bradley 90 from MIC Chat. Today, Aloha Trader, which is one of our moderators who loves the long side of trading, shows his long trades on ALT on Thursday, March 7th. Enjoy this daily recap. And if you want to watch the full length exclusive content in this version of the daily recap or any of the content that we create, then become an exclusive MIC member for full length videos. All right, let's check it out. Hey everybody, Austin here. Uh, gonna do another trade recap on uh, stock. I the only stock I really traded today was that was alt. But before I do, I want to say that I'm not licensed, I'm not registered, I'm not a financial advisor, and none of this should be taken as investment advice, even if it sounds like it. So, alt was one of the stocks that 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 we're running today, and I just I'm just making sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it didn't really have um, any kind of substantial news to it so I it was a sheer Momo name and <clears throat> but it had a low float and everything else was running BPTH was the leader and I figured we were gonna get some kind of sympathy actions from BPTH and we did we got alt and seal today and GTXI all kind of went up uh, seal actually had news but um, <clears throat> this one was a sheer Momo name and not my favorite uh, stocks to trade and that might play a role in some of this decision making we'll, we'll unpack some of this um, but when when there's no defined catalyst I'm always a little my conviction is always a little bit uh, is, a, is a little less it's a little uh, weak and you'll see you, you can kind of see this in my trading today but anyway um, what I was really looking for uh, was the first thing I noticed on this chart was the, the daily levels that were in play. We opened at 380 and we had a resistance at 380. So at the open, the reason why I wanted to short it was because it looked like we were going to break 380. We were breaking down of this level here at 380 and I said, okay, this can be a decent short. I didn't get the short, but you know, it, it wasn't that good of a short. But, uh, but the next level was 365 and I'm like, okay. So here we are, we got, you know, we got into the 360 territory and I'm like, okay, this is the area where this is the area where I want to see if it's going to prove to be support or resistance. This was a kind of a, it was a, how, how am I calling this? This was one of those plays that I met, talked about in the last video on how I'm willing to long or short dependent on how the level reacts to be able to bias flip in a trade. Like I was willing to short and long this today based on the price action on how a certain level uh, reacted and the levels I cared about were 380 and 365 and there was actually a trade on both of them. There was a trade on the 380 short and there was a five on the 365 long right here. I think I meant to add and sold, but I, I added. And like I, I really like this 390, the 395 was the high of the day. It might have been a little anticipation, but I thought it was gonna break. And again, like we got up here and we rejected four. There was a lot of volume that went in here and I just got a little bit queasy, you know? And again, I sold everything. I sold everything instead of half. And because I sold everything twice and lost on it twice, now granted, they're small losses. You know, they're small losses, but the fact that I lost on it, I lost on whole positions twice. Normally, I would have like sold, I would have sold like half here and half here. And like, I only would have, you know, gotten stopped out on like one position, like if you add like the halves. Um, but I got stopped out on two whole positions and I was like, you know what? I'm done. Like, I, I can't just keep doing this. I, I can't keep getting shaken out like this. Like, like Bao said earlier, like you have to get this stock is one that you had to give kind of extreme range with. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.